वेलकम बैक वट ए ब्यूटिफुल क्लाउडी डे टूडे टू कम आउटडोर्स विथ अ स्लाइट ड्रिजल एंड वॉट अ बैकग्राउंड टू हैव आई एम एक्चुअली फॉलोइंग अप ऑन अनदर ट्रेल ऑफ केनेथ एंडरसन एंड दिस टाइम इट इज द गेरेटी लेपर्ड एंड आई मीन ही नेम्ड इट एग्जैक्टली एज द स्ट्रेंज केस ऑफ गेरेटी लेपर्ड द रीजन इट वॉज he named it as a strange case because it was a normal leopard it, it didn't carry any injuries and he had seen it uh, before its manating days also and it was just a normal leopard and uh, then it just uh, started uh, killing humans so probably that's the reason he named it as a strange case so i'm somewhere uh, uh, near ancheti i'm dri- riding driving from uh, kanakpura towards ancheti now just found this beautiful place to spend some time here and i'm going to now continue towards ancheti and then all the way towards uh, gerati gerati itself is a small uh, village on the route towards uh, hoganakal falls between ancheti to hoganakal falls i think it's around 10 kilometers from ancheti on that road so yeah that's where i'm going to head now and try to see look out for the places where uh, the leopard Uh, you know he encountered a leopard and eventually very shot it and about gerati itself there was a small forest lodge where kenneth stayed several times when he visited the place and eventually he shot the leopard also right next to the forest lodge so that's an area of uh, interest for me and i'll try to find that place uh, once i reach gerati so yeah let's get going then So I just got down the ghats from Ancheti and I'll have to climb up now towards Gerati. And uh, the reason I stopped here is check out this river. So Kenneth mentioned uh, in in his early young days he used to get down this ghat in his uh, Ford Model T and he used to say uh, getting down itself was a struggle and then getting back up this ghat he sometimes even used to a uh, climb up this ghat in reverse gear supposedly ford was doing better model t was doing better in reverse gear so yeah i'm going to check out that steep up going forward we have beautiful tarmac now so it's pretty easy to ride but i can understand what kenneth used to go through uh, when he used to drive up this steep on this uh, i mean basically there was no uh, tarmac so he had to drive on this uh, the stretch of broken road that uh, that that was there at the time check out the view here So this is Gerati. So we've reached Gerati, and I'll have to try and find out where the forest guest house is. And there is also a lake uh, opposite the guest house. So I'll see if I can find that out now. Gerati Forest Lodge. So this is the Gerati Forest Lodge. Kenneth used to come. It's obviously reconstructed now, and seems to be in uh, 2008. That seems to be an even older one. Now look at this kitten. <laughs> yeah, this does seem to be the old forest lodge. This new one built over there now. I was happy to find the new 
forest lodge itself but it's almost surreal to actually find the old lodge as well where Kenneth actually stayed it's just fantastic and uh, now only uh, you can find some farmers have stored something here that's it so only thing is behind this I, I don't see a garage the reason I was searching for this place is Kenneth actually shot the leopard uh, right be behind this lodge itself so uh, I just checked out there is no garage you now so probably that's been brought down but quite surreal to be very close to the place where Kenneth actually shot the leopard in fact by what he mentions there is just a, a garage just a few feet behind this uh, guest house but now like you can see some houses have come up there uh, village houses so can't find that but still this was pretty much the exact place where Kenneth shot that leopard this time Kenneth saw that leopard he actually was sitting right by that guest house over there <coughs> and uh, he saw the leopard on the other bank of the lake over there you can see the lake over there so that's what I'm here to check out now so as we sat there one one evening he noticed some movement on the other side of the bank and when he saw that he realized there was a leopard on the other bank over there it was getting down to drink get elephant trench here now seems it's a lot of elephants come here so I have to find a place to cross this now so if you s sit there in the guest house over there yeah like uh, Kenneth mentioned you can see movement uh, that is happening on on that bank so that's where he actually saw the leopard for the first time and the next time he actually saw it when he was you know just walking in the jungle he, he saw the leopard he just casually looked at him and just went away the third time it was on the road between Gerati to a place called as he mentioned it as a jungle parliam uh, a small village where uh, around two and a half miles from Gerati towards uh, Hoganakal but I have uh, the place of the name of the place has changed now. Uh, it's something called a Su Sujipara or something. I, I'll have to just refer to Google again. So I, I don't see any place called a jungle palium. So yeah, when he was riding along the <coughs> uh, you know track to that place, uh, there was a overhanging uh, uh, there was a tree a branch. You know it was overhanging the road itself and the leopard was sitting right on that uh, very what do you say on that uh, tree tree trunk and it actually jumped right on the you know vehicle of Kenneth uh, into the dicky area and then it just jumped out and ran away so that's another uh, that's the third time he actually saw that and coming uh, to the, about man eating one of the first uh, victim actually took place uh, was taken away by uh, the leopard uh, on that route itself towards jungle palium and uh, near the tree uh, where the branch overhangs the road itself the next victim was at this lake a boy from the village who came to collect whatever for whatever reason he came uh, early in the morning here he went missing he did not come back so that's when the villagers realized yeah there is a man eater but they didn't realize that it was the leopard which was a man eater at the time but they did realize that there was a man eater somewhere why is that buffalo running and then uh, it it had struck the third time it had taken up another lady who had uh, come to a well nearby and eventually uh, Kenneth came here after the third victim was taken away within a week of that and by that time it take it took away a fourth person by that time and that was uh, someone who had uh, you know the bungalow watcher's son was actually taken away so he had come into this forest to actually pick up honey but he was the fourth victim and I guess that's pretty much it that needs to be told so found the 
forest rest house behind which Kenneth actually shot the leopard and the lake and uh, the only other thing I can try and find is that uh, overhanging branch uh, along the route from uh, Gerati to this another small village. So I'll just drive for a couple of uh, uh, a few kilometers from here uh, and then if I can't find it I'll then head back. Yeah, I just wanted to add one more point. Uh, th the way Kenneth actually shot that leopard on that night was, uh, I mean, he decided to sit in the garage uh, right behind the forest uh, rest house there um, and uh, he thought he'll wait for the leopard to return to the remains of the victim, of the fourth victim, uh, which was right behind uh, the garage. But uh, uh, what happened eventually was the leopard ended up stalking Kenneth in that garage that night. So uh, he mentions about six cents. Uh, he eventually woke up with a startle that night, and um, then he realized, okay, he didn't he, at the initial stage he didn't realize what was the reason for his scare. But then he eventually realized that something was he was in danger and something uh, approaching him, and probably the man eater. And that is when he. Uh, you know, it was a full moon night and he could see the forest guest house right in front in uh, through the, you know, through the entrance of the garage. He was sitting at the back of the garage and when he, uh, and when he looked closely, he could make out a silhouette of the, of some animal actually at the entrance of the garage. That's when he realized probably the leopard was about to pounce and it was stalking at him at that very uh, moment. So I guess... Uh, yeah, he actually got lucky because uh, he had almost fallen asleep and uh, he woke up at the right time and once he realized that he just uh, got up, got onto his feet, switched on the torch and immediately shot the leopard and he was able to kill it with one shot is what he's mentioned. So yeah, that's how the, the man eater of Garrity uh, came to an end. Alright, so I have driven along the road towards Hoganakal around 3 kilometers from uh, Gerati. Uh, there is a village called as Sesurajapuram uh, between Natrapalyam and Gerati. So that's bang in the middle. And it's not called as uh, Jangal Palyam as he has mentioned in the book, but it's mentioned as Sesurajapuram. Whatever be the case. So one thing is. Uh, one interesting fact is Kenneth used to play kabaddi, a game of kabaddi in the village, uh, in that village, uh, on full moon nights. So there, there seems to be uh, some sort of a festival on full moon nights. Uh, the villagers used to gather and have fun all night, uh, play a lot of games. So and Kenneth had taken part in those uh, games quite a few times. So that's uh, very interesting to know that he did play kabaddi. I think I've come to the end of this adventure, but look at the view here, beautiful hills all over there, just fantastic. Alright then, I'll see you guys next time on another adventure of Kenneth Anderson and until then, take care, see you and goodbye.